instant runoff voting, the case of the missing ballots. We have an election here that's going to use instant runoff voting to select the winner. We had 39 voters that selected Linda as their first place choice, and Mike as their second place, and Chris as their third place. 30 voters had selected Mike as their first place, with Linda as their second choice, and Chris as their third. And 29 voters had Chris as their first place, and Mike as their second place, and Linda as their third. Now, as you know, with instant runoff voting, you eliminate the lowest ranked candidate and then redistribute their votes to the second choice. And in this particular case, that would be Chris. Chris is eliminated, and 29 votes get distributed to Mike, and therefore, Mike is the winner. Linda has 39 votes, and Mike has 59. News came out that Mike was the winner, and several articles were written in the newspaper that instant runoff voting was a success, and Mike won in a landslide, and Mike was elected mayor. The whole town got in the act. The Irving Motel congratulated Mayor Mike, and the New Hope Baptist Church said IRV worked, and congratulations to Mike. And even the Henderson Town House Motor Lodge congratulated Mayor Mike. But wait, there's more. Prior to the election being certified, they found a ballot box that had two ballots stuck to the side of the box. They needed to count those two ballots, and they did. Those two ballots had Chris in first, Mike in second, and Linda in third. So let's go ahead and put those two ballots in. If you take a look, you see now we have 31 votes for Chris. And again, those are two ballots for Chris, second, Mike, and Linda in third place. Now again, can you see who the winner is going to be with instant runoff voting algorithm? We're going to eliminate the lowest ranked candidate, and that would be Mike. Mike had previously won the election, and now he is eliminated. Those votes now get transferred to Linda. Chris has 31 votes. Linda now has 69 votes, and Linda is the winner. Now, those two votes had Linda ranked last and third out of three candidates. Two votes with Linda ranked last, and yet putting those into the mix, she is now the winner of this election. Now, to recap, the first results had Linda with 39 votes, and Mike with 59 votes, and Mike won. Adding the two votes with Linda ranked last changed the whole election. Chris had 31 votes, and now Linda had 69 votes, and she wins. You can just imagine the outcry from the citizens and the press after this happened. But why did it happen? Well, you see, instant runoff voting is not additive. The votes are shuffled around, Although you vote 1, 2, 3, you just can't count the ballots 1, 2, 3. And most people wouldn't be able to determine a winner if they were given a handful of ballots. And all ballots must be brought from the precincts to a central location before any of the shuffling can occur. You have to count all the ballots before any shuffling, and all ballots must be present and accounted for. And because of this, it can take weeks to get final election results. In fact, Minneapolis election officials just announced that it'll take about eight weeks to count all the ballots in this year's election because of the new instant runoff voting system. What's so instant about that? Maybe that's why several cities have it on their ballot this November to get rid of instant runoff voting. In Cary, North Carolina, they say no more. They tried instant runoff voting and didn't like it. I'll take integrity in elections over funny math and 30% voter confusion any day, said one of their council members. And in Pierce County, Washington, after 66% of the voters said that they didn't like instant runoff voting, they have a repeal ordinance on their ballot this November. And in Aspen, Colorado, they'll be voting to stop using instant runoff voting. And this just in, in Burlington, Vermont, a petition drive to scrap IRV. So here are some of the problems the cities are having with instant runoff voting. 
It's not additive. Although you vote one, two, three, you just can't add the votes up one, two, three. It's causing a lot of problems across the United States. And it's not very intuitive, as you saw here. By adding two ballots, ballots that had a candidate ranked last, but allowed them to win the election just by adding those two ballots, just seems kind of odd. And then there's the lack of transparency, the weeks of counting. Election integrity experts are very worried about this. To have confidence in the outcome of the election, the public has to have the ability to watch the counting. If it takes weeks, that's just not right. IRV has so many flaws that many cities now have buyer's remorse. We've shown how instant runoff voting picks winners and it just doesn't make sense. And we've shown there's nothing instant about it.